Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the dependency service or group failed to start error on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in msconfig, best result, check them back with system configuration. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath startup selection, make sure normal startup is selected. Load all device drivers and services. If you had to make any changes in here, you would select apply and OK to save that. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy each one, one at a time here. So they both start with net. So I'm going to have them on two separate lines in the description of the video. So go ahead and copy the first one and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window. Right click on it, select edit and paste it in. It should say the command completed it successfully. And then once that's done, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video and run that one the same way you did the first one. And then once that's done, I'm going to just type in ipconfig, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. And hit enter. Successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here, and you do want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved and the dependency service or group failed to start error message should no longer be present. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.